Once upon a time, in a far-off kingdom, there lived a beautiful princess named Snow White. She had skin as white as snow, lips as red as blood, and hair as black as ebony. She was the fairest of them all, and everyone in the kingdom loved her for her kindness and gentle nature. Snow White lived with her stepmother, the evil queen, who was jealous of Snow White's beauty and feared that she would one day surpass her. The queen was cruel and heartless, and she treated Snow White poorly, making her do all the household chores and never giving her a moment's peace. One day, the magic mirror, a magical mirror that could see and predict the future, told the queen that Snow White was the fairest of them all and that she would one day become the queen. This enraged the queen, who ordered a huntsman to take Snow White into the forest and kill her. However, the huntsman took pity on Snow White and told her to run away. He killed a deer and brought its heart back to the queen, telling her that Snow White had been killed. Snow White found herself alone in the forest, where she stumbled upon a small cottage belonging to seven dwarfs, Duck, Grumpy, Happy, Sleepy, Bashful, Sneezy, and Dopey. The dwarfs welcomed Snow White into their home, and she stayed with them, keeping house and cooking for them. They lived happily together, and Snow White loved the dwarfs like family. Meanwhile, the queen discovered that Snow White was still alive when the magic mirror told her that the princess was living with the dwarfs. Disguising herself as an old hag, the queen offered Snow White a poisoned apple, which put Snow White into a magical sleep. The dwarfs discovered the queen's plan and chased her away, but they were unable to revive Snow White. Just as all hope seemed lost, a handsome prince came to the cottage and fell in love with Snow White's beauty. He kissed her, breaking the curse, and Snow White awoke from her sleep. The two fell deeply in love and were married in a grand ceremony. As they lived happily ever after, Snow White and the prince made sure to take care of the environment and recycle. They understood the importance of preserving the natural beauty of their kingdom and made sure to reduce, reuse, and recycle. They planted trees, conserved water, and reduced waste, setting an example for their subjects to follow. The queen, on the other hand, was punished for her cruel deeds and was forced to clean up the pollution in the kingdom as her punishment. She learned the hard way that being kind to the environment was essential for the well-being of all living things. As the years passed, Snow White and the Prince's Kingdom became a model for sustainability and eco-friendliness. People from all over the world came to visit and learn from their example. Snow White's kindness and love for nature had brought happiness and prosperity to the kingdom. And she lived happily ever after with her prince, surrounded by the beauty of nature. The dwarfs, too, continued to live in harmony with nature using their skills to create innovative solutions for reducing waste and conserving resources. Doc created a machine that turned plastic into fuel, Grumpy developed a system for recycling water, and Happy designed a garden that used compost to fertilize the plants. Sleepy, Bashful, Sneezy, and Dopey all did their part too, using their unique skills to contribute to the kingdom's sustainability efforts. Sleepy helped to develop a system for harnessing the power of wind and solar energy. Bashful created a program for reducing food waste. Sneezy developed a machine that turned old clothes into new ones. And Dopey helped to plant trees and flowers throughout the kingdom. Together, Snow White, the Prince, and the Dwarfs proved that even the smallest actions can make a big difference when it comes to taking care of the environment. They showed that by working together, being kind to nature, we can create a better world for ourselves and for future generations. And so, Snow White's story came to an end. But the lessons she taught us about the importance of being kind to the environment and recycling will live on forever. We can all make a difference, just like Snow White and the dwarves, by reducing, reusing, and recycling, and by being mindful of our impact on the planet. In the end, Snow White's kindness and love for nature brought happiness and prosperity to the kingdom and she lived happily ever after with her prince, surrounded by the beauty of nature.